Hey, what's up, guys? Got an interesting email the other day from a guy. He said, uh, Alex, what do you think about customers that you've cut in the past and they come back to the shop and they don't speak to you anymore and they go to another barber? Well, man, you can't worry about that. Just keep cutting. Replace them. Go get another customer. You know, or you could take an angle of wanting to find out what happened. So, you know, if uh, you're man enough and professional enough, walk up to the customer, speak to him anyway, and say, hey, man, um, say something like, uh, hey, you know, I'm trying to be the best I can be in the barber industry. I noticed you stopped coming to me, and I'm okay with that. But could you tell me what I did wrong or what I could have done better for you to keep coming to me instead of going to another barber? Now, you got to be careful with that because... Sometimes customers feel uncomfortable. They feel like they've been put on the spot. You know, for whatever reason, a customer may go to another barber. That's just how the game is. Has it happened to me? Yeah, it's happened. You know what? I'm still living, still breathing, still cutting. So, you know, what I'm saying is, you know, don't worry about it. You know, yeah, it may feel funny. You see a guy come in, you've built a relationship with this customer. You've cut his hair four or five times, you know. He's, he's coming every week, sometimes twice a week, and all of a sudden he comes in the door. He won't even look at you, and he'll walk and get in another barber's chair. Now, sometimes that could be because the other barber charged a lower price than you. So that means a lot of people are concerned with price point versus your service. Some people will take a less, uh, uh, they, they'll, they'll take less quality for price. So, you know, you may be cutting for 15 another barber might cut for 12 He might cut for 10 And that 2 or $3 could be the difference in if a customer continues to come to you or not. But the bottom line is the, 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 the only way you're going to find out why a customer stopped coming to you, you got to ask them. Communication is key. Ask them. You know what? It may make the customer feel a little uncomfortable. It may piss the other barber off. But you know what? You have to learn from your mistakes because that's the only way you can become better. If you don't know what you did wrong, you don't know how to fix it. If you don't know what you can do better, then how can you get better? You have to ask questions. Don't be afraid because you know what? This is your future on the line. Okay? When your future is on the line, you have to communicate. You have to over-communicate. So, the guy, he emailed me, said, what would I do? I've done these things, man. I've walked up to the guy. I said, man, what happened, man? What, is it something I did wrong? You know, and they'll tell me. Is it something I could have done better? And they'll tell me. You know, so if you're caught in that situation, if you don't mind and you feel comfortable enough, still speak to the guy and say, hey, man, let me ask you a question. I noticed you've been coming to me for about two or three months now. And uh, I noticed you just all of a sudden started going to another barber. And I'm fine with that, sir. But so that I know how to make myself a better barber, what is it that I could have done to make you continue to come to me? What is it that I could have done better to make you continue to come to me? And you know what? He'll tell you. He will tell you. Or you can say, what is it that I did wrong? And he'll tell you. He may feel a little uncomfortable, but after that conversation, you will be armed with the necessary ammunition to make yourself a better barber. So if he said, well, man, you take too long on my haircuts. Okay, now you know. He may say, well, man, uh, the other dude charged $4 less than you. Okay, now you know. He may say, well, man, your trim is too sharp. Or whatever he says, at least now you know. There's nothing worse than sitting in a shop, cutting, and you lose a customer, and you don't know what happened. So the only way to know what happened, you got to ask questions. So take that bit of advice, man. And uh, if you have a customer that stops coming to you, just ask some questions, communicate with him, and, you know, replace him, get another customer, or make the necessary changes to get the customer back. You know, whatever you need to do, but you got to communicate in order to find out what you need to do to be successful. All right. So this is Alex Campbell from AlexCCampbell.com. If you need help getting a barber's license, check out my site, AlexCCampbell.com. Click on need a barber's license. 
fill in the information, and we'll have somebody reach out to you. You need to learn how to cut better, tight hair cuts. I got videos, DVDs, anything you need. So come check me out, Alex Campbell from alexcampbell.com. Over a million views on YouTube, hundreds of thousands of people follow me on the net worldwide. So I think I got what you need, man, if you need some help. All right? Take care. Peace.